Hey, <clears throat> fix my camera here. They changed some things up. Good afternoon. This is Brian Johnson. Welcome to my Monday night live Facebook training. For some reason, the lands of Facebook won't let me do my uh, landscape view anymore on my uh, screen, which is kind of crazy. But nonetheless, here we are. Let's have an amazing night. So tonight's topic of conversation is on fat burning secrets and how to unlock the body of your dreams. And let's be honest. Have you ever been to that position? Have you ever said, look at yourself in the mirror and said, man, I love the way that I look and the way that I feel right now? And if that answer is a no, you're in a great place. If that answer is a yes, and it has been a while since you've had that, you're in the right place. What's up, Miss Jennifer Cole? Long time no see. So, hey, if this is your first time joining me, first off, I am grateful for you. I appreciate you. Most importantly, type in the message box, first timer. That way, I know how to support you. What's up, Jake? My man. Uh, that way I know how to support you and make sure you're taken care of. And also, too, make sure, since this is your first time, that you go up into step one and make sure you get my seven free videos. It's going to be directly pertaining to what we're going to discuss tonight. Most importantly, you're going to get my notes. What's up, Miss Heidi? I chatted with you today, too. Chatted with Jake today, too. Man, a lot of New Jersey people up here in, uh, in uh, New York, too. So that's awesome. So hey, make sure you get my notes. I've got four or five pages of notes right here. We're going to go through probably at least three or four part series. And I've really come across some amazing information here. Uh, the last couple of days, I was able to invest some time with uh, Mr. Alex Sharfin, the man, the myth, the legend. I was invited to his private mastermind group this last weekend. What's up, Miss Leanne? And really had some amazing conversation and information. And I'm actually going to be sharing with you some of the stuff that we talked about. And honestly... Our philosophies are completely congruent. And so you understand this. This is important. And here's the deal. My invitation to you is to trust me, is to suspend your disbelief and allow me to invite you to listen to some information that's near and dear to me that literally I have invested my entire life up until this point of figuring out life experiences, pain, lots of money, lots of time, lots of amazing teachers, some of the best on the planet. And well over 22 different certifications. And I don't say that as a pat on my back. I say that from the standpoint of you can trust me. You can understand that I have done my work and done my homework and consistently do my homework to make sure that I bring you the best qualified information. Not only just for you, but for me. I choose to have the best information. And if naturally, if I have it, and you're going to have it as well. What's up, Spencer? So, like I said, if this is your first time, just type first timer. If you feel called, the best way that you could help me or support me, if you're like, hey, Brian, how can I help you? You can help me by sharing my message. That's the only thing that I ask from you because honestly, I never know who I'm going to help. I never know whose life's going to change. I know for a fact I've spoken to mul multiples of you so far today, Heidi, Jake, uh, there's a few people that I've spoken with today already that we've had amazing conversations and these conversations happen all the time with people I don't know. And by you sharing my message, it allows more people to connect and understand what's available. What's up, Danny? What's up, Tim Hood? So without further ado, let's get to work. And actually, let's have some fun, which is most important. And so you understand my philosophy on health and wellness is this. I am most convicted of how I share information and how you're going to get information from me is like this. I believe that focusing on the things that we would die without first, for example, Air is number one, water is number two, food is number three, and your consciousness or your way of thinking about things is number four. And you'll find that that's how Chris and I both detail our information. Like for us, that's what it's all about. So when someone comes to us with Parkinson's or cancer and age and they're like, dude, my doctor said blank, 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 and blank, blank, blank. I said, well, all right, let's go back to the basics. How can we maximize your oxygen uptake? How can we maximize the foods that are in your body that are providing more oxygen? How can we open up your arteries to get more nutrients and more blood and more oxygen through your body? How can we clear out your arteries? And, it, and when you think about it, it's like, wow, Brian, that doesn't really sound like rocket science. It's not. It's human science. It's understanding how your body functions and what to do about it so you can empower yourself. And tonight is about that. 
how you can empower yourself with the truth. Because what I'm going to share with you is God's finest. I'm going to share with you the foods that are on our planet that are specifically there to help you be the best version of yourself. And I'm going to help you to understand what those are, how you can use them, and how you can make them work for yourself. And naturally, if it makes sense for you, you're in the right place. If it doesn't make sense for you and you're like, well, I don't know if this is for me, then more than likely it's probably not for you. And that's okay. And I love you. And I vote your victory. So let's talk about this. For those of you that have my notes following along, for those of you that are not on my email list, make sure you go up to step one and hop on my email list so that way you can get the notes. For those of you that have the notes, for all my family members that have been connected with me for a while, my veterans, I appreciate you so much. Uh, I love you and I respect you and I'm always honored and grateful that we get to invest this time together. So without further ado, let's get into some content. So number one, you hear me talking about this. Air is the first thing you're going to die without. The important, most important thing you could do, if you ever ask yourself the same question I ask myself, I ask myself this question all the time. How can I improve my experience right now even more than what I already feel? The main question I always ask myself is how can I feel better? Legally, <laughs> how can I feel better right now with where I'm at that doesn't cost me anything other than a shift in mindset and an awareness and the awareness and the consciousness and giving myself the ability to ask myself the question, how can I feel better right now? The first thing that comes up for me, what's up, Miss Audrey Nicole? The first thing that comes up for me is deep breathing, breathing down into your stomach. If you're really looking to maximize the way that you feel and reverse illnesses and boost your energy and boost your well-being, the most important thing you could do is breathe. So when I'm talking breathe, I'm talking about the best way to do it is breathing in for seven seconds and out for seven seconds. That's the best way to do it. And that's a long ass breath. If you think about it and you try it, uh, it is totally long, in and out both, and it will dramatically change. It will super saturate your body with oxygen. And most Americans, like most Americans, probably most people on the planet, probably about 80% of the planet, has something called clumped red blood cells. What is that? Clumped red blood cells is from lack of oxygen. It's from not having enough hydration. It's from having poor processed foods. It's from not having any elimination. It's from having a toxic acidic body. When your blood cells are clumped, that means they cannot process or transport oxygen, which is the most important thing. If you're talking the body of your dreams, you must have oxygen, a lot of it. In order for you to burn body fat, you must have oxygen to do that because fat is oxidized, meaning you have to have a lot of oxygen coming in your body so your body's like, all right, we're not starving. Let's get rid of some fat. Okay, so unlocking your body of your dreams, I'm taking it to the basic level first before we get into the more profound stuff because here's the deal. There's not a fast way to do this. I'm not a magic pill person. I'm all about mastering the basics. Until you master the basics, there's no sense in trying to figure out a faster way to do it because it's not going to work. It's not sustainable. If you don't have the framework and the foundation available, having a jump start and having a shortcut is going to be a waste of your time and it's going to set you up for failure. That's why a lot of the programs that are out there are programs or centers, weight loss centers, because people keep coming around for recidivism or repeating the same cyclical issue because they're not getting to the root of the challenge. They're not getting to the root of the emotions and the emotional issues that are creating the sabotage. We're going to discuss all that, okay? So oxygen obviously is, is crucial for well-being. Most people, like pay attention, here's a check-in point. Where are you breathing from right now? Are you breathing from your chest? Or are you breathing from your stomach? Check in. If you're breathing from your chest, that simply means that you're functioning right now in fight or flight. What that means is you get to breathe down into your stomach. Breathing down into your stomach will automatically shift your nervous system. What's up, Mike Sewell? That will automatically shift your nervous system. All my questions are popping up, so if everyone has any questions while we're cruising down the way, then let me know and I'll answer them for you along the way. So let me tell you a story or allow me to tell you a story because most of you know my background. Like my background is I have had some really crazy experiences. I've been suicidal, uh, done lots of crazy amounts of drugs, and I'm still alive. Thank God. By the grace of God, solely am I here having this discussion with you today. And here's what I have most importantly to share with you. Out of all things, I have been the highest legally off of oxygen, believe it or not. I did not know you could feel that good and get that high off of oxygen, ever. 
We were in the middle of the Cancun jungle in 2015, New Year's, and I was doing work, personal consciousness work, like working through emotional patterns and going through some deep therapy work with my group in the middle of the jungle with birds and all kinds of crazy animals, all kinds of stuff. And we were doing a lot of breath work. We had done a lot of processing of emotions that day. And I'll be honest with you, I have never laughed so hard for three hours sober that I could ever imagine. It was amazing how much deep breath work we were doing. Like if you ever heard of Qigong, if you have not heard of Qigong, I encourage you to check it out. I encourage you to check out one of my coaches, Jeff Primack. If you're in Austin, Texas, Jeff will be here in August. If you're looking for more information, let me know and I'll get you connected. I will be there. A bunch of our family members from Austin will be there. Uh, Audrey, you should definitely go with us for sure. That way we can all connect. So Qigong is a great way to massively change your well-being. And here's the deal. In Eastern cultures, Qigong is actually prescribed to people to reverse illnesses. Because here's the thing. The only difference between an acidic body and an alkaline body, acidic meaning disease-ridden potential versus alkaline, which is oxygen-rich, the only difference between an acidic body and an alkaline body is oxygen. You must have loads of oxygen to enhance your well-being, to reverse illnesses, and to definitely create the body of your dreams. Okay? Now, Ba, 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 ba. Perfect. So let's go number two. For those of you following around in my notes, I'm going through part two right now. We're talking about water. Water is the second thing you would die without. And as it seems so mundane, you're like, yeah, yeah, water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about it for a second. Because most people don't drink enough water. And I have a challenge for you. You ready? I have a challenge for you. Those of you that are in on my challenge, type in as soon as I get ready to tell you. Okay? For the last two days... Since I left Alex Sharpen's event, I have been drinking 30 ounces of water. As soon as my little feet get up in the morning, I pour 30 ounces of water from my conga machine and I slam it. And it has made a huge difference on how I feel, my energy levels, my digestion, all of it. Scientifically speaking, it has been proven that a minimal of 16 ounces of water first thing in the morning will boost your brain function, boost your nervous system, boost your toxin removal, and it will increase your metabolism up to 30% for 90 minutes. I can tell you that when I did that, I was starving. Rah, this is all body language. I can't, I will, I can't, I will. I'm taking my own challenge. What's up, Melinda Brisson? Good to see you. David Harvey, what's up, buddy? What's up, Amy? Jay, that's right. So check it out. Here's the next thing. Like Here's the Jedi trick. All right. So now what I'm teaching you now, hey, Kim Myers, welcome. Here's the next thing I got for you. Welcome, Lisa. Good to see you again. Christina. Hey, Christina. Uh, so here's the thing that I would like for you to try out. There is a massive difference between alkaline water and acidic water. Don't let anybody tell you like the meathead knucklehead that I used to be. I used to say water was all clear. It doesn't make a difference. And did you see that? How my shoulder blade popped up? That's body language. That means I'm shrugging, shrugging off burdens about receiving. <laughs> so here's the thing. Like, there you go. Jennifer Cole's got some great, some great advice right there. Using warm water. And here's the thing too. I like room temperature water. You're more than welcome to use warm water if you choose. Um, don't use cold water. I think your body will process warm water more efficiently. But here's some things that you can do to alkalinize your water. If you don't have a water machine or you're not buying alkaline water, like I have a Kangen water machine. It's the best health investment I ever made in my life, period. And I have lots of gadgets. Like I have essential oils all over the place. I have an amethyst uh, biomat rug that I lay on that shoots all kinds of stuff in your body. Like I have some gadgets because I'm a health geek. I've invested lots of money on my health, not so much in cars and things like that because those are the things that I know and love. And I always will because that's just kind of how I like to geek out. Like this right here is one of my little things. We're going to talk about this too. I have something crazy to show you with this stuff. This thing is amazing. We'll talk about it. Okay. So alkaline water. You can get filtered water. Don't drink tap water. Invest in yourself and get some good, clean water. You can buy alkaline water. Some of the water I would suggest to get if you need some is called Essentia. Saves money in the long run for sure. Uh, Essentia is one. I don't recommend getting Fiji water because economically and planet footprint speaking, 
What about per filter on the tap? Uh, you can try it out, bud. I'd have to see or you'd have to test out your pH levels and see what it's like, Dave. I don't recommend getting Fiji water because the amount of resources that it takes to get Fiji water over here, I think there's other options that create less of a footprint on our planet. If you agree, if you don't, it's completely cool with you too. So there's some things you can do with water. You can take some lemon, you can squirt it in your water. You can take some lime, you can squirt it in your water. You can put some apple cider vinegar in your water. A couple of different things that you can do. My encouragement is for you to do, ladies that are a little smaller, if you wanted to do 20 ounces, 16 ounces is the actual proven amount. Depending upon how size, how big you are, I would suggest doing anywhere from 20 to 30 ounces of what, I, what Alex Sharfman would coin hyperhydration. It has made a big shift in what I feel and how I feel and how much energy I had throughout the day, which is a big deal. So try it out. Here's the deal. Here's your homework. Make sure when you do it, come back to our group because there will be conversation going all week long in this thread right here. I'm active. I will be in communication with every one of you and each one of you as you message and as you ask questions. Just keep it in the group. If you have some specific questions for me personally that you would like for me to address for you individually, shoot me a private message. I'll be glad to support you. Okay, by sodium bicarbonate also too, Mike. That's a good one. Uh, so that's a great question. So let's talk about what's a good pH. So here's the thing: a mark of neutrality is seven point zero. I like and I drink a nine and a half. So I have a nine and a half pH water in here. It's got some green liquid mint flavored chlorophyll. It has some abundant on there. It has blessed on there. So I've also raised the vibration of my water specifically. Now let's talk about that. I'm glad that you asked that question, David. Mark of neutrality is seven. I suggest doing anywhere from a seven and a half to a nine and a half. See what you feel best off of. Here's another trick that you can do. Check out Dr. Emoto, The Miracle of Water. And you wonder why maybe, why is Brian so crazy that he writes words on his water jug? Well, words have vibration, vibrational currency. How's that? Vibrational currency. So when I have words and I put them on my water, water will absorb the vibration or frequency or currency of the words and the water vibration will now pick up the energy from the word, the word blessed, the word gratitude, the word thankful, the word abundant, the word prosperous, the word healthy, wealthy, and wise, whatever you choose to put on there. I put those on there to raise the vibration of my water so that when I drink it, it changes the vibration of what my cells are doing. So here's the deal. What I'm teaching you right now, like this is not public knowledge. I am teaching you the Yoda tricks. Matter of fact, Yoda didn't even know these. I'm teaching you how to work right versus work hard. Naturally, that's what you want, right? You want to know how to invest a little bit more of a thought process in to magically change your experience in quantum level advancements. That's what you're looking for, right? I got the audiobook, The Hidden Message in Water. There you go, Mike. And that's right, Christina. What's up, Marty Sorensen? So make sure when you're drinking water, like water is very important in the land of body language with those of you who have had multiple conversations with most of you on here so far, body language, when someone is dehydrated, this means they do not want to feel water, drinking your water. I love my feelings. I can love what I feel. Very important. When people come down with diseases and illness and when you're not having the body of your dreams, if you're sabotaging yourself and not loving yourself, the most important thing you could do is love yourself and forgive yourself. Water will help that to be possible. It's like the lubricant of bringing love, reinstating back to you and back to connecting with yourself. Okay? Any questions so far? Here's something too. This is a, this is a good tip. So if you're not a fan of drinking water, which some people are not, so let's just be honest, that's okay, right? Here's a little trick that you can do. If you drink water, psh, reward yourself with your tea or your coffee or whatever after you drink your water. So that way you get it down first. What's a good amount of water to drink? I've been drinking about 100 ounces a day. So that's a good question, David. I would suggest doing at least a gallon as much as you can. There you go, Spencer. All right, so you can post your questions on water a little bit more. Let's cruise through it. 
So now we're going to talk a little bit about food and then we're going to dig into some more stuff. I was just I was choosing to make sure that I express to you the pillars that we teach by and that we educate by so you understand where the rest of this information is going to come through. So it may seem a little slow to you right now. And in order for you to have the body of your desires and to truly unlock it, you must understand what's necessary. And you must understand the different levels of mastering the basics because even though it may seem like water is water, water is one of the most important things that you're going to die without number two. And especially if you can make a smarter choice within a choice, you're automatically going to give yourself some more gold and some more value, right? All right. So food, number three. This is a number three you would die without. Conscious nutrition. Conscious nutrition is very important. When I say conscious nutrition, I'm talking about understanding why, what, how much that you do of certain foods so you can maximize what you're trying to create. In order for you to thrive and for you to create the body of your dreams, you're going to need to understand what you're putting in it. You're going to need to understand when your body is asking for certain things. You're going to need to understand why you would listen to it. And you're going to need to understand what it's actually telling you so you can make wiser choices. And this only comes by being present when you're eating, by being present throughout the day when you do eat something to feel exactly what's going on and what your body is actually telling you. It's going to take you being aware of that. It's going to take you having the wisdom necessary to understand what foods God has in the grocery store that are going to help you to thrive. For example, why you may eat fats over carbohydrates. If you are very carbohydrate sensitive like moi, <laughs> fats most of the time is typically a better fuel source for me. Some other people it may not be like Chris Vanberg. He couldn't freaking buy a pound. I could gain 10 for the same thing. He would lose one. So you must honor your genetics and understand where you are at specifically in order for you to create the body you desire. Okay? So let's talk about some things. Now we're going to talk about some different things. We're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about muscle testing because I've been doing a lot of new stuff with my body. I'm after the ultimate experience and I'm willing to do whatever is necessary to create it. So the more I can learn and the more I can learn about myself and the more I can share with you, of course I'm going to do that because naturally that's what you want, right? Of course. So how many of you have heard of muscle testing? Yeah, you look like you look like a car person, Jennifer. You remind me a lot of Chris as far as his genetics. You look like a fast burner. So how many of you have heard of I'm I'm writing a book right now, Jake's almost done. So how many of you have heard of muscle testing? Have you heard of applied kinesiology? If you have, just type a yes. Let's figure out where you're at. And for those of you that just hopped on my training, I love you and I appreciate you. Make sure you go to step one. Register so you can get on my email list, so you can get all the notes that I'm talking about, so you can follow along. This will more than likely be a three-part series because I have a ton of content for you to, to get through. And I'm, I'm probably going to kick it up a notch and probably do three or four more extra trainings this week so we can invest some time together. And more than likely, I'm probably going to do one tomorrow morning sometime too. So what's up, Miss Vanessa Faro, my BAM my teammate, never heard of muscle testing. Oh, Lisa, you're going to love this. Oh, my God, you've heard of it. Don't know a lot about it. Heidi, you're going to love this, too. <laughs> All right, so let's have some fun. First off, do I have full permission to be fully authentic with you and fully Brian with you? Yes or yes? Yes. Check it out, okay? Muscle testing is probably some of the most fascinating stuff that you could ever learn how to do for yourself. Here's what I mean by that. Every, everything on the planet has an energy frequency. Can we all agree with that? If you agree with me that everything on the planet has an energy frequency, just type a yes. Hey, are all of you cool with me going a little bit over time tonight? Typically, I shut these down at 8.30. I'm on a roll. I feel good. I feel, I'm feeling empowered and would love to share this information with you. And if you're cool with me going over a little bit, just type a yes. Because I probably will go over a little bit. Okay. So... Everyone so far is in agreement with that we are energetic beings and everything on the planet has a certain energetic frequency, okay? All right, so you're probably going to trip out on this. If you have not, if you have not done muscle testing and seen it happen, then here's what happens, okay? So our body is an electrical, it's an electrical conduit. It's full of electricity. What's up, Sandra Harvey? It is full of electricity. Like you are an electrical being no matter how you choose to look at it, right? So what happens is, is everything on the planet has an electrical frequency. And when you understand that, 
Now what you're going to do is I'm going to teach you a very amazing tool that I have had. Man, I have had some amazing experiences with muscle testing. I can muscle test myself to find out if I'm dyslexic. I can muscle test my again, myself again to reverse my dyslexia. And I'm going to share all this with you. We may get a little off the beaten path, and I assure you we'll end up at the right place. All right? I got you back, and I got you covered. Hey, Sandra. So check it out. So muscle testing is this. Let's just say, for example that I would like to eat a certain food. And I'm like, is this food good for me? Well, we can find out. And here's how. I'm gonna share with you my first experience of being muscle tested when I was when I was notified that I was dyslexic. I was notified that I was dyslexic when I was 34, 34 years old. I'm 38 currently. I did not know this for 34 years. Check it out. I was in my chiropractic class. I'm not a chiropractor. I was in a class with my chiropractors, one of my coaches. He's in as well in his 80s. What's up, Chris? So what happened was my chiropractor goes, hey, Brian, come up here in class, and I'm going to show you this, okay? He goes, come up here in class, and I'm going to stand up so you can see what I'm doing. And he goes, stand up here in class in front of everyone, right? So I said, okay. So he goes, hold your arm out like this. And he goes, you're going to hold this book. Like, let's just say, for example, that I have this book. I have this book in my hand. And he goes, all right, what you're going to do is you're going to hold your arm out like this. You're going to read out loud. And you're going to hold your arm tight. And you're not going to let me push it down while you're reading. All right. Seems pretty simple, right? So mind you, my chiropractor is about 5'5". Five, five. He's 80 years old. He's every bit of 150, 60 pounds. He's a small guy. Okay, to kind of give you an idea, I'm about 5'10 at about 214-ish right now. So very different in size and physical capabilities as far as strength, right? So here's what happens. So I bust it out. I'm reading. Hold my arm up. He's pushing on my arm. My arm is going down and going down, and I'm reading, and I'm kind of stumbling around a little bit, and I'm like, well, that's kind of weird, right? So he gets my arm to the bottom, and I finish my sentence, and I'm like, well... I, definitely, I noticed that I was definitely stumbling a little bit. I had no idea what was about to happen because I had no contrast yet. Here's the crazy part. So he goes, now here's what you're going to do. He goes, you're going to read the same sentence. You're going to start from the period and work your way backwards to the front of the sentence while you're holding your arm up. I said, okay, let's do it. So I bust out my paper here, hold my arm up. I'm reading backwards, mind you, reading backwards, and he's pushing on my arm, and he's pushing on my arm, and I'm just reading away, and literally, I felt like he could have hung off of my arm, like hung the whole time, and my body wouldn't have moved. So I got done, I finished reading, and I said, all right, that was different. I said, there was something completely different from first one exercise, and then the second part of that exercise, and he says, yeah, you're switch, you're dyslexic, all right? So I said, wow, that's interesting. He goes, well, let's switch you back. So here's what that means. We're electrical beings, right? We're constantly being bombarded by electrical signals, by all the Wi-Fi's and stuff that I have going on in my office while I'm having this conversation with you. This is why I have this on. This is why I have an EMF marker on the back of my phone while I'm doing this too. So he basically checked me for dyslexia and had me read and had me push my arm down to tell that my nervous system was out of alignment. Now, how would you like to know how to reverse your dyslexia temporarily? How would you like to know how to check if you are dyslexic? Would you like to know that information? If you do, I'm going to share it with you right now. Honestly, it's probably one of the most valuable tools that I could have ever learned and been able to share because my daughter is also dyslexic and I can tell when she's talking and when she gets words jumbled up, what I do is I have her check herself and then I have her do her little trick and I have her change it. Do you want to see how to do that? Do you want to see how to cancel? Do you desire or require or feel necessary that you would like for me to show you how to check to see if you're dyslexic? And show you the routine of how to change it and how to shift it and how to trans how to basically transit 
and how to change it. Now, this is not something that's permanent. It's temporary. We're constantly being bombarded by signals and stuff like that. All right, so we have some yeses. I'm going to go ahead and say that everyone's in on this. All right, so let's do this. Teamwork, right? All right, so check it out. So here's what you do. Let me adjust our little camera here. All right. So the first thing that I'll do, now I'm going to show you the fast way to do it. And for those of you that have never seen me do this, you're probably going to trip out, okay? My encouragement to you is to be open-minded because what I'm about to show you is stuff that's probably going to be a little outside of your box. And honestly, I'm going to shoot you straight. I'm going to show you the truth. I'm going to show you what's available to you because you haven't been taught this stuff in school. This goes way against policies this goes way against big pharma and adderall and ritalin because they do not want you to know this and i'm going to share it with you now you cool all right let's do it so check it out so here's the deal i'm going to show you this way so you can see so when i'm testing myself for dyslexia i'm going to do it verbally so you can hear me i can do this completely quiet i could do it standing in front of you and you probably wouldn't even know what i was doing the first thing that i'm going to ask myself is i'm going to say Show me a yes, and I'm going to see what my body does. Check it out. For those of you looking to unlock your dream body, this is very important because if your nervous system is wired, is off, everything is off. You're not operating from your best position. So here we go without further ado. Okay, so I'm going to stand here. I'm going to say, oh, wow, I think I'm switched. I totally am switched right now, so this is good. So you're getting a bird's eye view of me reversing dyslexia because right now I'm switched. And you know what's interesting? I checked myself before I got on our call. So this is crazy. This is how fast you can switch in and out. All right, so I'm going to say, show me a yes, and my body goes back on my heels. Show me a yes, my body goes back on my heels. So right now, I am dyslexic. Now I'm going to show you how to reverse it. First thing you're going to do, and hey, if you have your phone, and you want to do this along with me, set your phone up and watch what I'm doing. And let's go through it so you can practice it. This will be, if you are dyslexic, this will change your life, I guarantee you. And this is free content and free information for you. And I love you and you're welcome. So check it out. First hand, doesn't matter which one. Over my belly button. I don't care which one. Just leave it there. Second hand, these two fingers, my, my God-given strength finger and my thumb, are going to go... In my collarbones, or not in my collarbone, but you see my collarbone is here. I'm going to go down between my first two rib spots, right here. That. I'm just pushing on them just a little bit, not really hard. Okay, so one hand here, one hand here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to push on these for like two seconds. Next, taking my hand that's up top, I'm taking my index finger and my God-given strength finger. I'm putting them on my lips. Moving it twice. This is my central meridian and my governing meridian. All I'm doing is connecting them. Moving my lips twice. Next thing, I'm taking my index finger. I'm putting it on my coccyx bone, not on my butt. Like right here. My coccyx toe bone is right there. My hand is still on my belly button. And that's it. Check it out. I'm going to go back to start. I'm going to say, show me a yes, and I'm back in action. Show me a yes, I'm back in action. Okay, now what I just did was A, identified whether I was dyslexic or not, and then I switched it because I identified that I was because if I was functioning appropriately, my yes would have went forward. Instead, my yes went backwards. Here's what I have to share with you. Literally out of the 60,000 people that I've been blessed to work with and support and serve on some level, I have literally seen about 60 to 70% of people are switched or are dyslexic on some level. Now understand, with us being electrical beings, we're constantly being bombarded by EMFs, by Wi-Fis, by energies, by energies from food, by energies from people, by electromagnetic frequencies coming off of our breaker boxes in our houses, our TVs, our computers, we are constantly being bombarded. That's how blasted our nervous systems are being by electricities. Now, if I was switched and I was testing myself, muscle testing, my coach was using muscle testing with my hand to determine 
that my muscles were going weak and that I would switch. That's a form of muscle testing where literally you can test a muscle strength by how your body is responding. You can test your muscle strength by holding a food or by holding a water or holding a thought you can test. Now, here's something that's even crazier because you don't really have a lot of times, you don't really have a person who can tell you if you're switched or not, right? or to muscle test you, or to push on your arm. So now I have some new ways to kind of help you because this right here is one of them. I'm gonna show you this, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I've, been, I've been playing around with this. So I'm gonna see if I can show you this and get this right for you. All right, let's try this out. So check it out. I'm gonna show you a couple different things. Now that we already know that my body is functioning appropriately for muscle testing, I'm gonna show you this, right? So check it out. This little tool right here is a muscle tester. It's a pendulum. This right here, when this is going to the right, like clockwise, that's a yes. Counterclockwise is a no. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask it, and this is where it gets a little crazy because all I'm doing is tapping into energies right now. So I'm going to use this bottle of release. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it up over it and watch. It stopped, and let's see what it does. Now it's starting to go left. Did you see that? I didn't touch it. It's going left. I didn't touch it at all. Matter of fact, I'm going to start over. Okay, watch. Bring it over. Lining it up. Let it go. And there it goes. So right now, this is not good for me. Okay? Not all the time. Your body's going to consistently change with energies, with food, with everything. It's going to consistently change. So it doesn't necessarily mean this is bad. It just means right now my body doesn't desire it. Now, how important would that be for you to know and understand that? Great. I took this tool with my daughter today to the grocery store. We checked eggs. We checked butter. We checked everything that we bought. And we picked the best sources with this thing. Okay, so now check it out. Here we go. Another one. This is peppermint. So all I'm going to do... So line it up. It's already going. This is right. So right now, this is good. Yesterday or a little while ago, I actually tested negatively. Okay? Here's the next one. This is frankincense, one of my favorite oils. Get it lined up. Let it go. It's like a poker. It's stiff right now. It's crazy. It's going negative right now, so it's not good for me. Now, I have something super fascinating for you. Can I can, can we geek out together for a minute? Because this is probably going to trip you out. Trip me out for sure. I was like, wow, this is really available to me, and I can use this tool to ask questions to give me straight-up answers. This is God communicating through you energetically, psychopathically, basically, because you're using energies to tap into auric fields of people, and it's called odic energy fields, which is kind of nuts, right? All right, so check it out. This is an amethyst crystal. All right, it's a stone. It's about 40 bucks. It's extremely potent. Now, here's the cool part. Let's see how it's going right now. Let's quiet it down. All right, not moving yet. Now it's starting to go into a circular. It's going into a clockwise fashion. Okay. Now, here's the crazy part. I can ask, and I, can, I don't even have to say this out loud. I can just do it by myself. I can basically... Say, all right, how strong is this stone from a zero to a 10? Zero being nothing to 10 being extremely potent. And I'll show you. Hold on. Let me get something for you. And all this stuff right here is by Hannah Kroger. It's a book. You can get all this stuff. I'm just going to show you. So check it out. This little thing right here is a, it's an energy scale. So you can use this with measuring fruits. You can do it with everything, right? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this stone on here, and I don't have to use this stone, but I'm going to do this anyway so you can see it, right? All right, so here's what you got. Zero is over here. Ten is over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask I'm going to ask this thing out loud. I'm going to say, all right, show me the power of this stone. Zero being least powerful to ten being most powerful. Now watch what happens. Show me the power of the stone. Zero being least powerful to ten being most powerful. And what happens is it's getting at a six right now, maybe a seven. How crazy is that? How crazy is it to take this thing to the grocery store and 
to hold a fruit in your hand or even hold the thought of a fruit in your hand and say, all right, how much energy am I going to get from this food from zero to 10? And it tells you eight or a nine. And what Audrey is talking about right now is a dowsing rod. I have these too. Check this out. Okay. Watch this. So I'm at, Riley is in the other room in there. Okay. She's in there watching TV. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold these out. And I'm going to say, where's Riley? Where's Riley? Where's Riley? Where's Riley? Okay. <laughs> now, these are pretty cool because these were used back in the day to find water. These have abilities to tap into energies of people, energies of water, whatever. These were used way back in biblical historic days to do all kinds of crazy stuff. Now, why is this important? And what does this have to do with unlocking the body of your dreams? Very simple. If you are not aware of energies and all the forces that are around in our environment that are available to you, that are impacting you more than the forces that you see in front of your freaking face, you're missing the boat. Because if you're looking to unlock the body of your dreams, unless you understand that these things are all around you and how you can tap into them, you are completely missing the boat. Because it is the unseen forces that are the most potent forces on our planet. So using something like this, it's a $19 investment that I got from Hannah Kroger. You could easily get one yourself and started practicing this. Okay, I, this thing has been great. I carry this with me all the time now in my pocket. Dog. I'm like, all right. I can test it on people. How is Audrey? Should I hang around with Audrey? Yes, of course. This goes for it's going. <laughs> you can literally ask all kinds of stuff. And what it does is it taps into energies to help you make smarter choices. Now, guess what? I use this when I'm creating my food. When I'm thinking about certain foods, I'll check it. And here's what I've done. Today, I've been able to eliminate certain foods that I was eating and I have noticed that I have felt dramatically better today because I started using this tool to help me start weeding out food sources that weren't serving me and that I didn't feel were making an impact as ideally as I would like in my diet. Now how, if you take a look at your life right now, in what ways could you use a tool, and this is all talked about in scripture, I'm not pulling woo-woo, this has nothing to do with the occult, I'm not talking to the devil right now, I'm talking to energies within foods and within stones or emotions or people or whatever and getting data to make decisions off of really interesting stuff it's a 19 dollars investment my coach bob tennyson stevens told me to get one so i got one and i started i started uh pulling around with it for sure so was that part kind of helpful we completely went off the beaten path for a second it was in line with what i wanted to talk about about or what i was choosing to talk about with food and it was in line with what i was talking about for muscle testing hopefully if you did have dyslexia then you found a way to actually kind of reverse it um, we went through a lot of out of the box information and i think it's important for you to understand if you don't like it and it kind of freaked you out completely cool if you say hey you know what this isn't for me Completely cool. There's a lot of people out there who would love to understand this kind of stuff. And that's why I actually shared it with you because I think it's important for you to understand what's available to you and what's available for you. And if I can help you to make better decisions to help you to thrive, naturally, you're going to have everything. You're going to have your relationship with God. You're going to have the body that you desire. You're going to understand what foods are going to help you to do that. You're going to understand how to make smarter decisions for yourself so you can thrive. Naturally, that's what you want, right? Of course. So that's why I was sharing it with you. So let's carry on a little bit longer and then we'll be done. And then we'll pick up on our next one. So we have dowsing rods. You saw me use dowsing rods. I like this better because I can put this on my keychain. I can take it to the grocery store. I can bust it out while I'm sitting here at my desk. It's not big. I was using it today at the grocery store so you don't have to feel weird. I don't care if people see me do it. Matter of fact, it opens a lot of conversations for people. So you totally can use it. I honestly, uh, Audrey, would get one of this. Uh, I appreciate you, Lisa Locker. I would get one of these. Like, literally, check it out. Do you want the information? Or cancel? Do you desire the information of where I got this from? I don't make any money off of them. I'll tell you where I got it from. Uh, so check it out. The lady's name right here is called Hannah Kroger. H a 
H A N N A Kroger, like K R O E G E R. And this book right here is called the Pendulum Book. Literally, it's like it's like 22 pages. And can I share a quick story with you out of this? And then I think we'll call it for the night. Like this is freaking awesome. So she's talking about a story. And I don't want to I don't want to spoil it for you, but I'm going to either. I'm going to anyway. Okay. She's talking about a story in here when she was hanging out with a chief, an Indian chief. And the Indian chief, they were going through the woods and they were looking for medicine. The Indian chief has this stick. And on both ends of the stick, he has a feather. So they're, yes, that's correct, Audrey. So they're cruising through the woods in the middle of the wilderness with the chief Indian stick. And he's got two feathers on the end of it, looking for medicine. The front feather on the stick is pointing straight ahead. So they're still walking, walking, walking. All of a sudden, it straightens up even more. They stop. The back stick feather on the stick flickers five times. The chief takes five more steps. Bam! Finds the medicine in the root. And they dig it up and they use it. And he says, good medicine. <laughs> now, here's what my invitation to you is this. How many of you have been involved with me when I do body language? And when I say the number of coughs or the number of sneezes or the number of blinks or the number of scratches is all emotional information. My invitation to you is that kind of information is available all the time if you understand how to pick it up. If you have a device that measures it and you are conscious enough to understand how to use it. There are some real... Excuse me, there's some really crazy stuff out there that is super fascinating. You can obviously tell that I get super geeked out about it. And this all ties into having your dream body. I assure you, these things are tools that are necessary for you to understand what's available to you. Okay? Now, let's talk about this. Why would this be important? How could this be important for you to have the body of your desire and the body of your dreams? Very simply this. What happens if you're eating foods with a ton of poison in them that are poisoning your body and that your body fat is totally shoving all these poisons in your body fat and making you bigger because that's how your body takes care of yourself? Okay? Like that's how your body takes care of yourself. If you have a tool and you understand how to use it, how much more effective and important and how much more progress could you get with your body if you understood these things were going on. I used this today on asparagus. The ones I usually get, it said, nope. I walk over to the next batch of asparagus that are in a bag and it says, yes. How important do you think that is? Asparagus is your number one detoxifier. That's your number one detoxifier. So if you have bad asparagus going in that are poisoning and toxins, how much of an impact do you think that's going to make on your life? When you think that something that's actually healthy for you is actually not healthy for you, then we're already backwards. You think you're going to drop body fat and get into the get into your best pants ever or get looking in an amazing in a bathing suit? It's not going to happen. It's not because you don't desire for it to be or you don't want it to be. It's because the choices that you're making aren't serving your outcome. And you had no way of determining that because you had no tool or no way to measure it. The things I've just shared with you give you that opportunity to do so. And you can totally look at other stuff. I just got this. I thought it was cool to share. I had a great time with it. I have. I geek out on it. I freaked out yesterday because I thought I lost it. I'm like, God dang it. Where's it at? I was looking all around for it and finally found it. You can use this to make decisions. I used this to determine whether I was going to buy some natural egg whites off of Amazon today. So I said, all right. I got, there was six different egg whites. I'm looking for some organic egg whites and I'm on Amazon and I'm looking at, I said, all right, Hill Country Fair, egg whites, no. Muscle egg, egg whites, no. <laughs> all the way down the line and none of them were good. So it saved me money. It helped me to buy something and to not buy something that wasted my money. Like, just imagine, like, whatever you think of that you can ask in a yes or no response you will get an answer to. And it's out of your box so you don't have to question yourself because it's not coming from you. It's coming energetically. You're tapping into energetic forces. 
It's not woo-woo. It's perfectly good science when you understand actually what's going on. Okay? Everyone cool with that so far? So have you gained any value out of so far of what we talked about? Because I know that you may think, wow, we're supposed to be talking about how to unlock the body of your dreams. We are. And it's important for you to understand some foundational stuff that's going on right now that if you are not plugged into it, it's totally going to affect how your body is showing up or not showing up. Right? All right. So let's do this. We're going to talk about the next one right here. We're going to talk about consciousness. The magic eight ball. <laughs> that one doesn't work. So we're going to talk about number four, and then we're going to shut it down for tonight. We're going to talk about consciousness. So you heard me talk about air, water, food, and consciousness. Number four, and then we'll actually get into my content of what we'll start with on Wednesday. Or I'll probably do some more tomorrow. Okay? So consciousness. Your level of consciousness is your understanding. And for those of you that are following around in my notes, here's what you got. So you have consciousness is a state or quality of awareness or of being aware of an external object or something within one's self. It's not woo-woo. No, it's not woo-woo, bro. It's all energy, energetic. So you have, it has been defined as sentience, awareness, subjectivity, the ability to experience or to feel wakefulness, having a sense of selfhood, and the executive control system of the mind. Consciousness is very important. That's it's infinitely levels deep. You can be more, you can be conscious of being conscious, then you can be conscious of being conscious of being conscious. Many infinite levels deep, you can never master it. I was literally asleep about six years ago. Literally asleep, meaning, uh, well, if you are sick, you need to go to a Western medicine doctor because that's who's going to be able to help you out. Obviously, you can see from where I'm at now with a lot of my positioning and conversation, that's definitely the no way I don't think you should go. I do think it's important, and that's not the first place that I would start my journey to get my health back. It's probably the last place I would go. Unless it was something where I broke my leg or had a heart attack or something like that, then I required that kind of medical attention, then I would proceed and go through something like that. For the most part, I would not go that route now. So I have dramatically changed over the last six years. And really the important part is this. It's really about understanding wherever you're at. Hey, Carol, it's about understanding where you are at and what makes sense for you. I'm not here to, to preach. I'm just here to share a message. I'm not a public speaker. I'm a messenger. I'm sharing with you the message that I have been through myself, that I've seen 60,000 people go through themselves, and that I have invested my entire life learning and being a student of and mastering at the same time in order to be an amazing messenger, in order to share a message with you that will make an impact in your life when you use it. No question about it. Key is just start with wherever you're at. It's not a race. It's a journey. It's not an event. <laughs> it's a journey, meaning it's a life journey of waking up into the next best version of yourself. Giving yourself permission to love yourself. That is the number one part. If you're truly looking to unlock the body of your dreams, if you don't love yourself, you're not going to. Your body's not going to work. Energetically, it's not going to work. You're going to sabotage yourself. There's a lot of things that are going to happen that are not going to support and serve you. And it's not about judgment. It's really about just being authentic with yourself because honestly, when my coach asked me if I love myself about six years ago, I was like, yeah, sure. I didn't. It's not a yes. Wasn't wrong. I had no idea. I was like, really? I don't love myself? I was like, wow, really? It's like, well, if there's more, show me, please. Help me out. What's available? Beam me up. I'm open-minded. I'm willing to experience the pain, to experience the pleasure. Like you tell me what I got to do and let's do it. So that's been a whole part of my journey. So hopefully you got some good value out of tonight. That's all I really have for right now. We're actually going to get into more of what you probably thought we were going to talk about uh, on Wednesday, 8 o'clock Central Standard Time, the same time. Uh, more than likely, I'm going to be going live a couple more times during the week. And I may be doing some 3 o'clock in the afternoons and I may be doing some morning times. So if you're available, hop on. If not, it's all good. Make sure you go back and check the replay. If you have any questions, shoot me a message. If you would like for more information on how to get one of these little gadgets for yourself, just go to Hannah Kroger. Uh, yes, you're welcome. So hopefully it didn't freak you out 
Uh, hopefully you got some amazing good value out of it. And understand, I wouldn't share this with you if I didn't try and test it. And if it was not sent to me from one of my top coaches to start messing around with and using, I would have never shared it with you. Anytime I come across something that is amazing as a tool as what I've been shared, I'm going to share it with you. If it's great for you, awesome. If it freaks you out, that's awesome too. And I love you no matter where you're at. Uh, hey, Jennifer. Awesome, Vanessa. Audrey, I appreciate you. Jake, I appreciate you. For those of you still on, uh, have an amazing night. That's all I have for you right now. Uh, so have an awesome night. If, I have, if you have any questions specifically, here's the deal. I'm going to go ahead and give you an opportunity because we talked a lot about a little bit about nutrition. Not a lot. We're going to dig into a lot more of that in my next session. Here's the deal. If you're truly looking to start maximizing and really digging into some education and getting some amazing wisdom to start making better decisions, you have an opportunity to invest in our nutrition empowerment series for only $97. It's typically $4.97. So if you have not done it, I encourage you to do so. For those of you that have, like Audrey, and for those of you that have actually taken our Nutrition Empowerment Series, put a couple of words up there of what you thought and how it was impactful for you. And honestly, like whether you think it's worth someone investing in and helping in, in learning and investing in themselves to learn and do more about it. Thank you, Danny. So here's the option for you. I have left the link in step number two above. If you're truly looking to move forward and take advantage of the $97 offer that I have for you, go to step two. You get two bonuses. Number one, you're going to get Chris's grocery store training for free, which is typically a $97 retail value. Second thing you're going to get is you and I are going to have a mano a mano conversation about your stuff specifically and about your life and about what you choose to discuss and we're going to go through and get clear on what you're really looking to create for yourself and i'm going to be brian and you're going to be kim myers wolf or whoever you may be and we're going to have a conversation and we're going to connect and i'm going to share with you what god puts on my heart to support you and that's all i got so if you're really looking to take advantage of my offer now is the time make sure you take action uh go to step two and list it's only 97 dollars for a limited amount of time and that's all I got. I'll talk to you soon. Have an amazing day. And remember, if you don't make time for your wellness, you will make time for your illness. Have a great day. Bye-bye.